Benny here, GhostPixATS.com, the number one sports consultant in the business. Saturday, June 29th, the June summer blowout bash continues. Apologies for the late video. Doing a little swimming today. Doing a little swimming in that red alert money, if you get what I'm saying. Huh? Big shouts to everybody who hopped on the red alert. Lots of people hopped on the all-inclusive stay at Benny's, and that's what we wanted. You know what I'm saying? We went swimming in red alert money last night. Red shirt, red alert. We won the red alert, and now it's no shirt for Benny. Come holler at your boy. If you're new to my page, welcome. Hop on down to that subscribe. Give your boy Benny a subscribe. Tap the bell right next to so you get my videos as soon as they pop up. And then head on over to Facebook. Head on over to Instagram. Start following along over there. Free content from all four horsemen. Every single day you can see me. And then follow me along over on Twitter as well. At Benny Bistro. The fun don't stop. Get your sunscreen. We bring in the heat. Get your flip flops. Grab your daiquiri, grab your beach towels. We're going for another swim. We're going for a dive right into the UFC. That's our next tour on the all-inclusive package. Hey, if you didn't sign up for the June Summer Blowout Bash, it's cool, all right? You can pick up the UFC event package in the link below. It's 30 bucks, it gets you to fight picks. Usually a solid four to five fight picks. Lots of heavy juice in the UFC, okay? You know, we try to minimize um, what we're laying. We try to come up with four to five of the best fight picks at the best value. That's what we do. So if you'd like to get linked up, come get linked up, all right? We are, or we have the two-day Ghost Picks Handicapper Special. It's 50 bucks. Any capper, Saturday and Sunday, it's a good deal. It's 25 bucks a day. The only thing is that the UFC is not included in that package, okay? <clears throat> so if UFC event package listed in the link below, that's 30 bucks, sold separately. Or we have the, the uh, Ghost Picks Handicapper Special. 50 bucks, Saturday, Sunday, lots of action, lots of MLB action, lots of crazy MLB action, um, and hey, big shouts out to my guy Derek Dimes, he is boxing tonight, so check it out, Derek Dimes is establishing himself as the go-to guy for boxing, period, he loves the sport, just like I love UFC, we have Benny rocking in the octagon, we have Derek Dimes in the ring. A nice two-piece for the fans of fighting. Benny got the drip. Dimes provides the sauce. Big shouts to Jack and Jimmy. Ghost Picks is rolling. Red alert. Let's talk about it. On a day when the dogs were barking. On a day when all the dogs were biting. On a day when Ma Major League Baseball decided to flip us on our heads again. Benny delivers on a nice red alert win on the San Diego Padres on the money line. Okay? Now... I do not red alert often. When I see a play that lines up, I pull the trigger. I'm not dumb. I know MLB has been crazy. We were in a slump. There was no way I was going to step out during that slump. MLB was crazy for a few weeks, okay? Then this week, we've been super successful. Going 11-3 coming into Friday. I saw the play. The line was right. The matchup was right. We pulled the trigger. We won. Boom, boom, we won. You get what I'm saying? Sweat towel was activated, I guess. But I was surprisingly calm for this entire for the entire way through this red alert. The only time I got nervous was when St. Louis had the bases loaded. They ended up with zero uh, runs, and we cruised to a win. I trusted in the play. I trusted in the information that I had that made me say, this is a red alert play. And it was a nice winner on a really bad day in Major League Baseball. I really hope everybody hammered it home. San Diego Padres money line. Apologies to my family in St. Louis. I have only ever done two red alerts in Major League Baseball. They both came this season. The last one was on the Astros against the Red Sox. Puts Ben Dog at 2-0 on Major League Baseball red alerts. I look forward to working with you on the next one. The rest of my day yesterday, no bueno. The dogs were barking. We saw Cleveland get rocked by the Orioles. I wasn't on that play. But that's the type of day it was in Major League Baseball. The Reds beat the Cubs. Marlins beat the Phillies. I was on that one. Three-unit loser on the Phillies on the money line. Who else? White Sox over Twins. Giants beat the Diamondbacks. Rangers beat the Rays. Oh, Braves. All right? They were a dog. Our free play on the Mets. Man, that line still has me messed up. Braves plus money. I mean, I get it. The DeGrom factor. But sheesh. Free play loss there, guys. I got to pick that back up, okay? Then we had the Dodgers run line three-unit play. They lost out right to the Rockies. 13-9, another dog. Then we dropped the top tier play on the Brewers on the money line. Another underdog winner. The Pittsburgh Pirates beat the Brewers. So, yes, another crazy day in MLB. Underdogs were 11 for 14 yesterday. 
That's crazy. What? That's a, a child, please. You get what I'm saying? All right. That puts us now at 12 and 6 on the week. We just hammered home a nice red alert win. And don't get it twisted. I put that unit amount there as a guide. But I know damn well we are betting the house on those red alerts. I know damn well we are hammering down on those red alerts. They, they're the place we step out on. So no matter if you bet the unit amount, eight units, nine units, whatever, or, or, or you stepped out and put the mortgage on it. It was a nice red alert win. Let's continue into today. Early MLB is starting. It has started. Like I said, we will have all day baseball. We have UFC later on. It's 30 bucks in the link below. We have the handicapper special also linked in the link below. 50 bucks. That's any handicapper you choose Saturday and Sunday. Let's get that paper. Free play of the day, 4, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, Detroit Motor City. We have the Nationals taking on the Detroit Tigers in Detroit. Detroit what? Detroit what? We are not taking Detroit. We are not taking the Nationals today. Second game of a three-game series, uh, and uh, the free play of the day will be the Nationals, Tigers, over 11 runs. Two young bucks on the mound today. Austin Volta is making his second start of the season for the Nationals. He had one start versus the Braves. He went six innings where he had seven strikeouts, four hits, two runs, no walks, no decision. The Nationals dropped that game. They lost four to three in the 10th inning. But the young buck pitched decent against the Braves. Now he's taking on a mediocre at best subpar Detroit offense for the first time. This is his first time throwing against the Tigers. Both wasn't super impressive in uh, AAA before his recall. Okay, but the Nationals, they've been rolling hot. They're six and one in their last seven road games. They've been on a really nice run. They just swept the Marlins, I know, because we made bank off the Nationals this week. Looking to continue that trend today on this free play. Nationals are averaging five, five runs a game, a little over five runs a game. The over is four, zero, and one in Nationals' last five road games. It's four and one in their last five interleague road games versus a team with a losing record. The number is high. 11 runs. In order to hit that number, we need Detroit to put up some runs today. They're last in the league in scoring right now with an average of 3.44 runs a game. But that does not mean that they can't get the bats rolling today versus Voth. You know what I'm saying? A young buck pitcher. Okay, it's still a pro ball baseball team. All right, get what I'm saying? The over is 4-1 and one in the last five meetings in Detroit. The over is 4-0-1 and one in Detroit's last five interleague games versus a righty. Detroit's pitching stinks as well. It's weak. The Nationals should be able to tag Detroit for runs today. Gregory Soto is on the mound. This is his sixth start of the season for the uh, Detroit Tigers. And he's 0-2, 8.66 ERA, 1.981 whip. In his last three starts, he has a 6.17 ERA. He's 0-1 at home and three starts at home. The Nationals' bats should be able to jump on him early and start the quest to 12 runs. A little help from Detroit, and we should see the total go over. Free play of the day will be the Nationals' Tigers over 11 runs. Everybody, come get linked up with your boy. Let's continue it. All right? 30 bucks UFC, we're diving right in. 50 bucks any capper you choose, two days, Saturday and Sunday. Good luck. God bless. Grind on, baby. Cheers.